So, Jim De Simone, um, uh, for a jury member, not likely to get into the minutia of some of these legal issues. They're just going to look at kind of common sense and wonder why was he hiding and was it reasonable that he thought it was somebody other than the police? Well, absolutely. I think that's right. And, you know, the testimony I was looking for early on has come on. You know, you want to, as a trial lawyer, again, this is Friday, right? So the jury's just gotten the case today. You've done your opening statements. You want your last witness to be somewhat impactful. He got kind of cut off there at the pass by ending at 4 o'clock. But he did get out, as you mentioned, those critical facts that when the officers entered into this house, they announced themselves repeatedly that they were off police officers, that they had a police canine, that if the individual who was in there didn't come out and cooperate, there was a possibility they could get bit. And he says, not only did we say that when we got into it, officers continuously announced that as they were looking through the house. Now, I'm dying to know, are there any video? I don't think so, because we would have seen already, we would have heard that there was video of that entry. So you have these officers testifying to that. Um, there's not going to be any um, real way maybe to undermine their credibility in terms of that testimony. So the defense kinds of withers away to say, I had no idea these are cops when they're continuously announcing themselves. So yeah. critical good witness at the end of the day on Friday.